This is Thursday, April 19th, 2012. Just a couple of thoughts for this morning. Often you've read the scripture. When you see these things happening, look up for your redemption draweth nigh. I'm paraphrasing, but what the Spirit was speaking in that scripture is that as you, you come alive, and you are able to recognize and see the things that were coming to pass, uh, are coming to pass, that you would be able to realize that your redemption draweth nigh, that that you're right there at the door, and that uh, it is opening up and beginning to unfold. And it's interesting because you can look at that scripture, as all of you have read it most likely, and assume at, at some certain point, in the uh, uh, severity of the um, uh, uh, end time events that you would stop and recognize that you know that all of these things are coming to pass that, you know, that it's time to look up and and realize that you know your redemption draws nigh and that would be a very um, linear level of recognition in other words uh something that would just be so obvious to the eye that, uh, you know, you just say, oh, my gosh, it, it's time. But it's, it's something else that the, the Lord is saying, He's saying the same thing. But it really has to do with a quickening uh, where you really do recognize uh, that you come to the portal of change. Um, you could look at what's going on in the earth as a whole. And uh, I don't... Uh, you may have some religious Christians that are saying, "Oh yes, we can, we can see Armageddon happening, all these things." So they're they feel like it's time to to you know to really look up and recognize that this is the time for a fulfillment of whatever it was that they imagine would happen during this time. But we're just talking about a realm of revelation where there's a quickening in you are able to recognize the season that you're walking in and that it is time. And perhaps I've just said a lot of words just to really say just this one thing, that to recognize that this is the time and that, uh, yes, to lift up your eyes, uh, what does that mean? Lift up your eyes, come up higher, in your vibration, come up higher in the presence of the Lord. Um, you know, lift up your eyes. Just you know, however you want to interpret that, you know, literally. But I am just here to say that this is happening right now. This is uh, the time that God is fulfilling. We had someone ask a question recently just saying, is this the time? And, uh, and all I can say is that, yes, this is the time. Uh, over the last two months, we've seen uh, a tremendous acceleration on many different fronts. But uh, to me, the, uh, the strongest thing of all of it is just that um, this is a time of the glorification of the believer and the completion uh, of what the Lord has begun. Uh, this is right here. And if there's one admonition from the Spirit, it's, you know, let go of your ideas, let go of your concepts, um, and realize that uh, you are so much more than how you perceive yourself. And that the only reason you walk in limitation, even at this point, is because you still see yourself, or I see myself, for that matter, uh, in a limited fashion when we're not seen as such. And uh, so it, it's it's really um, a whole new chapter that's opening up right now. And uh, I don't put any limitation on how quickly all of this can unfold, except I know the promise years ago which came was that once the first domino began to fall the first changes and releases began to unfold 
that it would move very quickly, both the changes within God's people and the unfolding events of um, the last days of God's dealings with mankind and the earth, that we would see a rapid uh, progression of events unfold in the earth. Uh, but that would first be preceded by the changes that would happen within God's sons first. And I'm just here to say that we're right here at the door. Uh, the door's open, we're stepping through it, and this is where we are. Uh, blessed are those who have eyes to see, ears to hear, and hearts to perceive that this is the time. Amen.